Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you guys today? Good. Good. How are you? I am good. Hello. Hello. What's up? Renee. What's up, Jessica? <laughs> What's up, Joe? I am good. Hello. Stefan. Hey. Hi everyone, hi teacher. Hello. Is it better yet? Ooh, I think we fixed it. Oosh, that was a really bad one. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Renee? What's up, Jessica? How are you? I'm good. Did anyone do anything Tired. fun today? I worked today. No, you worked today? That's not fun. Who else worked today? What do you do, Jorge? Is that better? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So, did anyone um, else go to work today? Who else went to work? Wow. I, I work. Again? Uh, I did work uh, five minutes only. Only five minutes? Yeah. Well, that's pretty good on a Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. Did anybody do anything fun today? No, no, no fun. All work, no play. Yeah. The, uh, the, the Colimbo classes. Nothing. I have a crazy day. Sorry. I have a crazy day. Oh, crazy! What happened? Because I work as an English teacher in Colombia with children, with boy around six until ten years old, and you okay. know I have I have to use one uniform, and when I had to go to work, I remember that my uniform was dirty. Yes. Oh no. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. No. And I can I can put me that one, so I dress like normally, and I went to work. In that place, the the director told me, James, what's up with your uniform? And I told her, oh, wait for a moment, I want to explain you. And she said to me, you have three days off and you didn't watch your t-shirt. You know, <laughs> I, get so, I get so sad, but that was my day. Oh. How sad. I get so when I get so sad, but that was my day. Uh, all right, I think I fixed that echo. Sorry. All right, that um, happened to my sister once. Not fun. Okay, so today we're gonna have a little debate. Debate. Is, is everyone clear on what a debate means? Does anyone not know? A debate. What are some other words for debate? Mm. Debate is conversation. Uh, conversation? Oh, I got three. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, combat? No, not combat. No. Interchange of... Um, Ideas, yes, a conversation, an interchange of ideas. A discussion. Um, uh, argue. Argue, that's a good word. Argue. Defend. defend Maynard says defend different ideas. Defend different ideas. Okay, so you have two ideas. 
and you're trying to say which one's better. Which one's better? So we have two sides, and it's like it's like a nice fight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we all work together, but you debate. So in a debate, it's it's you're discussing the pros and cons. If you make up a mean an idea, no? I'm sorry. It's make up a mean idea. Make up a mean idea? Yes. Oh, <laughs> the no. we're, we're, we'll be nice. We'll be nice. No throwing punches. So a, a common thing, for example, I don't know if you guys hear about it down there, but in, in the states right now, a big thing is the um, the the president. They're trying to vote a new president, yeah. right? So they have debates. So the two sides, yeah. the two political parties, they they argue about which is better, and usually they, they don't get anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but today today we're not going to debate about politics. We're going to debate about we're going to debate about work. So there's two kinds of businesses you can you can do. You can work for somebody. Like work for a company, like an employee, or you can own your own business. So we're going to argue about the two of them. We're going to weigh the pros and the cons of each one and discuss. Yes. Or both two, yes. So we're not actually going to say which one's better because they can be different. But we're going to see which one, see which one is good for some things and which one's good for other things. And which one's bad for some things and which one's bad for other things. So does everyone understand? Yep. Yeah. We clear? Okay. So what does it mean to work for somebody? Employee. Employee. That's a funny spelled word, the two E's at the end. I always thought it looked funny to me. <laughs> anyway, employee. So that means you work for somebody. You work for you can work for a company. You can work for a corporation. That's this kind of company. You could work for a store. What else could you work for? A shop center. A shop. Shop. Shopping center. You could work for the state. You could work for the government. For the government, yeah. Who else could you work for? Uh, somebody said shopping center. Does anyone know another word for shopping center? Mall. Mall. You could work for your parents. That's something else. You could work. You could work for a family business. So you could work for your parents. How about this? Um, you could work on uh, at school. Ooh, yeah. You can, you can wow. work. Wow, you read my mind. <laughs> yeah, you could work at school. Organizations. At university. Yeah, sometimes when you're in, at university, you can work in like the library or something for yeah. Mm -hmm. a little bit of pay. What's that, Jessica? I don't know uh, how we say that in English, but if you do uh, service, uh, charity service, service, you know? No oh, profit, charity. No. Okay. Non-profit so, organizations. I'm sorry? Non-profit organizations. Non-profit. Teacher Ray's Green Face. Yeah, yeah. Non-profits, yeah. Like Greenpeace? Yes, yeah. what is Greenpeace? We could, uh, Greenpeace is um, it's an organization that tries to promote um, green living. 
Do I need to? Yeah, they protect the environment. Oh, okay, Tisha, thank you. Yeah, tree huggers. I don't know if anyone was here for that class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they had a whole class about that. Anyway, so yeah, so these are all different kinds of things we can work for. So, tree huggers. <laughs> What kind of business, say we run our own business? All kind of business. Yeah, what kind of businesses could you run? Uh, Does anyone I, here... I run a business. Oh yeah, what kind of business do you run, Jessica? Uh, uh, it's a makeup business, you know. Uh, I teach a class of makeup for the okay. ladies. Alright, so you teach... And do you own a store, or do you just teach there? No, uh, not not in a store. Um, okay. We, I, I class, I teach. Uh, mm, I don't know how to spell it in English. Uh, it's like a private. Uh, Private classes and private with, classes. yeah, and with with a lot of students, you know, like a course, like a seminar. Seminar, yeah, like a like a workshop. seminar. Okay, yeah. so 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 you can have a business teaching. So you can teach pretty much anything. You can teach English. Someone uh, someone said they teach James. You teach English, right? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes. Does anyone else teach? For a living? Uh, I teach mathematics. You teach mathematics. Okay, okay. So you can teach all kinds of things. You can even teach uh, you can teach art. You can teach yeah. you can teach oh, guitar. Yeah. So that's something that you can do for your own business. What are other things that you can do? You can teach. What else can you do? Sales. Sales, that's a big one. There's a lot of people that do sales. So you can sell, sell pretty much anything. Net manage. Consulting service. Customer service. Uh, con consulting. Consulting. Customer. Uh, customer. No, consulting. Consulting. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> consulting. That's a big business too. A lot of people do consulting. Yeah. You know what I used to do? I used to own a, a window cleaning business. What? Window cleaning, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> My brother and I did that. So you can have a cleaning business. Can you remember what is, what is window cleaning? I forgot it. You know, uh, you take a window and you, <laughs> <laughs> you make it all shiny and you see through it. You're like, ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> Have you seen something interesting? Oh, one <laughs> the, the best thing I ever saw window cleaning, one time I was cleaning a window and you usually see handprints and stuff on it, right? Yeah. I saw a little kid's face print. <laughs> it was like you could, you could see where his mouth was and his eyebrow. Like it was very funny. <laughs> I took a picture. Think, teacher, do you teach English in the real life? What do you mean? Uh, do I teach English outside of Kalingo? Uh, yes, teacher. <coughs> yes. No, I I only teach English here. Oh, uh, okay. Because I think that in the Real life, you are an excellent teacher. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I've taught American Sign Language before, but not English. Okay. So, there's all kinds of things we can do to run our own business. So, let's talk about scheduling. What does scheduling mean? Uh, like, Make us uh, like you have. A Make seminar? a schedule. Yeah. Play I'm like sorry. that with hours. Like hours. A agenda. Agenda, hours. 
Those are good words. But what does it mean? Organization. Yeah, Organization. Manage your time. Managing your time. Right, so it's determining when you're going to work. Right, so let me ask you, if you work for a company, what is scheduling like? Eight hours per day. If I work for a company that isn't mine, how is it different from working for myself with scheduling? Because the schedule oh. depends on you. You said when you want to end your work. Right. And if you work with a company, you know that you have to complete with some kind of hours. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm going for. Thank you. So, if we work for someone else, if we work for a company, we need to comply with their scheduling. Comply means we need to match them. So, can someone give me a, an example of how you would schedule for a company? Getting at 8 o'clock, for example. I'm sorry? Getting the job at 8 o'clock. Yeah, maybe you have to work from at 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock. Yeah. Every, every day a week. Every day. Does anybody have a schedule? Does anybody work for a company where the schedule changes a lot? It's channeling, um, for example, uh, you're showing, no? You're, sorry. That, that happens in a fast food restaurant. Ooh. What happens? That they have different schedules. They have to work in the morning, then the next week they have to work in the afternoon, and the other week in, in the night. Changing schedules. Yes, a lot of times that happens in retail and food service. What is a retail? Retail. Does anybody know what retail is? Yeah. Okay, retail is um, basically stores, stores, things that sell things. Yeah. So in a mall, that's all retail. Okay. Ah. Thanks. In IT support, it happens too. See, yeah, so that affects everybody. Yes, in business, it's channel sales. Retail is one channel sales, for example. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Right. So yes, yeah, so changing schedules, that can be something that can be difficult when you work for a different company. Now, let me ask you, if you work for yourself, how is, what is different about scheduling? You, you can uh, do your, your own schedule. You can make your own schedule. So you could wake up and say, <laughs> Yeah, no, 8 o'clock isn't happening. <laughs> or I don't want to work today. You could yeah. do that. What's a negative aspect to that, though? Is there anything negative about having your own business with a schedule? More res responsibility. More responsibility. R responsibility, yeah. Maybe you have to work more. Maybe Five. you have to work more. Ooh, maybe yeah. you have to work weekends or Sundays. Yeah. More hours. Okay, so let me give you a situation. So you work for a company, okay? And there's an emergency that happens with something, but it's not your day to work. Who takes care of it? your boss. Yeah. But if you yeah. are self-employed, who's your boss? Me. Yeah. <laughs> so who has to take deal with the problem? 
Me. By yourself. Later. <laughs> so who has to work overtime? <laughs> Me again. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, a self a self employee we can schedule by our task times. Yes. So there is some flexibility when you work for yourself. <laughs> Very nice, James. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, there's some flexibility, but sometimes work interferes with everyday life. Does everyone understand what interferes means? Another word is interrupts. Interfere, interrupt. For example, um, when the, the work um, can be um, a problem, for example, it interferes or no? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Um, nothing, nothing. No, 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 it's okay. <laughs> no, I'm confused. Okay. Well, yeah, I, understand, of, I understand different. I'm sorry, James? I understand like uh, some flexibility sometimes work interferes, but I understand like a different team. What do you mean? For example, a work which interferes with every day, like uh, for example the doctor, that they have to work each hour they don't have um, why a schedule I don't know I for the reason it's like a, I, I don't know uh, why you're talking when you, when you said flexibility sometimes for enterprise are you saying that it depends on who you work for yes like it you depends know, the on doctor, the job yeah the doctor tend to use uh, many hours because they have to not because they want to so because they have to do that that's a good point. That's a very good point. See, you're bringing James is bringing the. He's debating. Ooh, mm -hmm. good Thanks. job. Okay, so yes, yeah, so a doctor gets a page because somebody got in a car accident and he has to go to the hospital at one in the morning. Exactly. He works for a hospital, but still, his hours change. Very good. So that's just like the self-employed person whose truck breaks down on the side of the road and he has to deal with it. Very good. All right, does anybody have anything else to say about scheduling? No. Nope. Can we close that? All right, very good. Now, we talked about this a little bit, we'll, but we'll go into it into more depth. Boss. So obviously, we already established that um, if you work for yourself, you're your own boss. What are the positive and negatives of that? I don't Why? know, but my boss is amazing. I'm sorry, Jessica? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, it's your own boss. Very, <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> so that's great. So Jessica, so you're your own boss. Why do you like being your own boss? Oh, uh, because I don't have to explain what I do to any anyone. You know. You don't uh, have to. You don't have to answer to anybody. Yeah. Yeah. I just do what uh, I think. Uh, what is that sound? <laughs> I thought that was my my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's loud. <laughs> that was really loud. Awesome. <laughs> oh my god! Do you need something to eat? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I could hear that all the way in Canada. <laughs> oh my God. 
Oh, uh, it's funny. You will have a vampire inside. Oh, uh, nice. Okay, why else do you like being your own boss, Jessica? Um, I, I, I like to control uh, what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. Mm. So you like the, the control. So you have yeah. control and you don't have to answer to anybody. Yeah. Okay, so does any uh, does anybody here work for somebody else? Does anyone have a does anybody here have a boss? Who has a boss? James, James, you have a boss? Oh, I see your hand up, sorry. Um, James, <laughs> do you like having a boss? Yes, teacher. Uh, yes, teacher. Because my boss was the person who gave me the job, <laughs> and <laughs> for that reason, yes, uh, for that reason, I said to him, "Wait, he's the best boss." Okay, so your boss gave you a job, so that's yes. that's a positive. Are there any other positives to having a boss? They have the responsibility. Pay, your, your paycheck just uh, came uh, right, you know, uh, like every month, every day, you know. Right, so you don't have to worry about the responsibility, but you get the paycheck. So yeah. there's another, <laughs> there's an idiom um, we use for they have all the responsibility. It's called their head is on the chopping block. Chopping block. Oh. <laughs> Their head is on the chopping block. Does anyone know what that means? What is a chopping block? Okay. Oh, like, uh, the, the, oh, like the, oh, I got it. <laughs> it's like, uh, you, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Guillot guillotine? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. When, in uh, back in the French Revolution, they would chop off people's heads. <laughs> yeah. So their head was on a chopping block, and then a big knife would cut their head off. Anyway, so the point is that there is a the, machine. Yes, the, the, it was a machine with a blade, oh. and it would chop. <laughs> it's very graphic. Anyway, <laughs> so the <laughs> what the idiom means is they have all the responsibility. So if something happens bad, they get in trouble, not you. <laughs> you just get the paycheck. So, Jessica, if something guys, goes wrong I, I with send, your business, I send you guys a picture. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. So that 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 is a guillotine. So if something goes wrong with Jessica's business, her head is on the chopping block. Yeah. But if, James, if something goes wrong at your work, it's your boss whose head is on the chopping block. <laughs> so you don't have to deal with it. But at the same time, Jessica has a lot more freedom to manage and she doesn't have to answer to a boss. Yeah. Right. So what are some other negatives of having a boss? Why is it bad to have a boss? Teacher, I think that you had to make the difference between your job and your friends because some kind of people tend to make a mixture because what is a relationship with someone like a friendly and Ooh. what's the difference between your, your job the people tend to make a mixture and for that reason many kind of relationship tend to be over so keep work and play separate. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, oh, yes. They are my friend, but first the job, and uh, you know, one thing is the job, and the other thing is like a friend. Very smart. Does anybody agree or disagree uh, with James? I, I, I think I don't understand what James says. All right. Can somebody explain what James means? James is saying that your relationships, I, correct me if I'm wrong James, but what I think you were saying was that um, your relationships at work need to be separate 
Yes. From your relationships in oh. real life. Yes. Okay. So work needs to stay at work. Yeah, I, I friends, agree. Uh, friends should stay outside. Totally. totally. Yeah. Does anybody disagree with that? Does anybody have a lot of friends at work? Um, yeah. Yeah, would you hang out with your I friends? I have an opinion. I'm sorry? I have an opinion. Can I say it? Go for it, man. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that if, if you have a, a friends in your job, you, you know who trust and who don't trust. Ooh. So you have so you have friends at work that you trust and can't trust. Yes. Okay. Anything else? No, just that. Okay. So James, what Maynor is saying is that some you can have some friends at work that you can trust. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> interesting. What about your boss? Should you be friends with your boss? My boss? No. No. <laughs> no. no. Why? <laughs> <laughs> um, why not? Oh, it's not a good idea, you know. Why? If you you if you explain are your friend, explain yourself, debate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if if you are a friend of your boss is going to like uh, abuse this this friendship you know and mm. oh you can do this you are my friend you know you can stay late tonight <laughs> so <laughs> mm. interesting so if you're fr if you're friends with your boss your relationship and work can get clouded work mixing friendships complicates things. Does everyone understand that word complicates? Yes, make more difficult. Makes it more difficult. Yeah, that's so difficult. Mm. Besides, when you go out with your friends, you always complain about your, your boss. Yeah, so you can't, you, you can't complain about your boss with your boss. <laughs> so how's work going? Well, my boss. <laughs> hey. Like, I hate my... Oh, wait, you're here. Oh, I hate my mom, you know? <laughs> Jessica, you can't hate your boss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, very good. This is an interesting discussion. All right, let's move on to um, employees or coworkers. If you own your own business, sometimes you have employees. If you work for a company, you have coworkers. What are the differences there? <laughs> what is the difference between an employee and a coworker? Everything. Uh, yeah. And an employee, you have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> you have to pay. You have to pay. <laughs> so, so yeah. <laughs> Very nice, bro. So you, you have you have control over the chopping block when you're the boss. Right. So, what are employees? When you have employees, um, they work for you, and when you have coworkers, they work with you. Work with you. Okay. Yeah, so it, it is uh, another uh, kind of relationship you have to your employees and your your coworkers. Workers. Mm, interesting. Uh, I see that the I see that the employees receive money, and the co workers don't receive money. I'm not sure. I think. True. True. So an employee is someone who works for you. A coworker is someone who works with you. 
Interesting. So, what is what are the advantages of having people work for you? Why would you want that? You're the boss. Because they will be the. You're the boss. <laughs> boss. Work hard. Let's work for you. I'm sorry. Less work for you. Less work Don't, for you. Yeah. yeah. They will. They will you work. can. There's a there's a word called delegate. Delegate. Yeah. Delegate. delegate. Yeah. That means um, to give work to other people. So you can yeah. be like, well, here's this. You do it. <laughs> I pay you to do it. <laughs> okay. What are some other good things about having employees? Each other have other point of view according to you. Mm, you have other people's talents. No, I have other point to other point of view according to what you said. Oh, um, go ahead and for go for it. For example, if I were uh, you are the boss, okay. If I were the the boss, I prefer we work with co workers because when you work with that kind of people, you make an equipment. But if you hire some employers, yes, that's that's too bad. You conform a group, you know. In that part, you can see the difference between what is an equip team and what is a what is what is a, a equipment and what is a group. Do you're you saying me? you're saying equipment. Uh, like uh, I don't know how can I say it? this one. Uh, maybe this equipment, like uh, the people who work together. You team. mean a, a team? Yes, it's, it's like a team. Do, do you know what is the difference between the group and the team? Between a rule? Rule? No, the difference between team and group. 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 Team yes. and group. Group. Yes. You got to pronounce your G there. Group. Group. Group, yes. Team and group. Yes. What is, what, what is the difference? What is the difference there? Do you know what's the difference? Yes. No, I don't. I think the group um, can work for. Well, you can make a group by creating books. Not always for work. Okay. The work is for get one, one thing like, you know. Objectives. Right, right. So a group can be general. It can be like a, a reading group or a group of friends. But a team is a group that's assigned to work together. Or they work well together. Good, good. So yeah, so you can, as a boss, you can assign groups or teams to accomplish things. And you can use other people's talents, which is great. So what are some bad things? about being the boss and having employees. What are bad things about it? You know the the families uh depend of you, you know. I'm sorry? There is families depending of you. If mm. if your business don't don't work and Pressure to succeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there are families whose livelihoods depend on your your paychecks. Yeah. So that that is pressure. The responsibilities of an employee mistake will come back to the butt. Yes, that is true as well. How about this one? You have to pay people. That's money out of your pocket, right? Yeah. So if you if you have employees if you um, do it yourself, you save money. But if you hire somebody, you have to pay them. So that's an expense. Oh, expense. I spelled that wrong. Sorry. <laughs> There's also um, scheduling and managing. Does that take a lot of time and effort? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
anyone who owns their own business will tell you that it's a lot of time and effort. Oh. <laughs> okay, so what are the advantages of being an employee? If I work for a company and I'm not a boss, why is that good? You know your schedule. You you know when is your free that free day. You have a set schedule. You could. You can leave work at work. What else? You just complete your objectives, and that's all. You do what you have to do. <laughs> yeah. You said it much more eloquently. Complete your objectives. Well done. You received your pay monthly. Ooh, yes, regular pay. Maybe you can get um. I don't know if they have this where you are, but you can get uh, health insurance. Yes. Yeah, yeah, benefits. 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 Benefits, yeah. Promotions. Promotions. You can climb the corporate ladder. Yeah. Which means get promotions. You go. So it's a ladder. Yeah. What are some bad things about uh, not being your own boss? Your coworkers don't hate you like the boss. Ooh, that's a big one. <laughs> that's a big advantage. Is pretty much everyone doesn't like their boss, except for Jessica. Oh <laughs> yeah. So when you're an employee, you get to complain too. <laughs> true. True. What are some disadvantages, though? You can you can uh, grow. You can put your ideas in the in the in the business, so something like that. Also, if you're if you're the boss, you can put your ideas in. Yes. You but can. if you're an employee, sometimes you're not heard. Yes. Ooh, okay. James says you have to receive a low raise. Ooh, yeah. So you have to get raises. So your your starting pay may be very low. Good point. Yeah, you are dependent too. Sometimes you have to work with people you don't like. Yes. Have have this routine, you know. Mm -hmm. You have to complete your schedule. Yes, so you're assigned a schedule. So you're at the mercy of your boss. You have to work although if you if you don't want. I'm sorry? You have to work although uh, you don't want. Yes, yes. Sometimes you have to work when you don't want to. Maybe your boss says, hey, can you work overtime? <laughs> and you're like, no. <laughs> uh. And he looks at you and says, yes. You don't have your own space on the parking? Oh, you, <laughs> you, don't, have your, you don't have a parking spot with your name tag on it. You can think by yourself because you have a letter, boss. Except bad humor of the boss. Oh yeah, you have to laugh at your boss's bad jokes. Oh yeah. <laughs> that is true. What about stress? Maybe maybe yeah. the boss 
can be a little bit annoying if, if for example, the boss is a man and the employee is a woman. Oh, can sometimes that happens. Can try to to flirt flirt with the employee. The woman sometimes employee. flirting. That happens sometimes. Yeah. Yes. Somebody said, um, par having your own parking spot. Um, usually, if you're the boss, you have. What else do you have? You have a parking spot. What else do you get? A room. A big office. Uh, a big office. office. Yeah. If you're an employee in, say, an office, do you get your own office? No. A box, maybe. You get a. You get what's called a cubicle. Yeah. Cubicle, okay. which is a, it's a cardboard box. <laughs> what what is difficult about having a cubicle? Everybody oh, can it's, see it's what warm and don't have uh, space enough. Mm -hmm. it's more no, privacy. Than, right? no privacy. No privacy. Yeah. You you wanna use the the company phone to talk with your mom and you can't do this. Oh my god. <laughs> Office cubicle cubicle is a synonym of cubicle. Yes, yeah, so a, a cubicle is a short way of saying office cubicle. Like a little office with tables. Yes, uh, I'm trying to find a picture. <laughs> I found one. Those things. <laughs> look at the face. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't no. look very happy, does yeah, he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Here's another one. Okay. Um, the difference of a group or a team is a group, the people working, and a team always works thinking of common goals and trying to improve the objectives. <laughs> a good team always works for all people concerned. Okay, that that's a good definition. A team, when I think of the word team, you think of, um, you know, a football team. They all work together, they all have their assigned positions, and they work together, yes. A group, a group just means people. They don't necessarily have to be working together. So technically, right now, we're a group of people. We're a bunch of people. But if we were working on something, like, say, we were um, building a tower, <laughs> we're a team. No, we're a team, James, are we? Oh, I guess so. Because we're working to um, define and debate. <laughs> True, true. So I guess it depends on which way you look at it. Okay, so say um, you work for a company. What are some other perks that you could get? Perks. Does anyone, can anyone tell me what perks means? <laughs> Do you draw? Nice. So, does can anyone tell me what perks means? Perks, <clears throat> perks means like um, bonuses. Oh yeah. Like for example, we already said benefits. Yeah. So you could get health insurance, or dental, or eyeglasses. What other perks could you get?
the 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 money that that you receive when when you don't work. Uh, what is the name? Oh, um, vacation pay. Yes. Vacation pay, food card. Maybe they give you a food card. How about this? Maybe a a company car. Maybe. Does anybody have a company car? No. <laughs> Unfortunately. How do you say when the the Empress pay your your trip? Ooh, when the um cover your travel expenses. So maybe you have to to travel for business. They cover that. They pay for that. Or say say your company asks, hey um. Jorge, could you please um, move to California <laughs> and work for our office there? You don't have to worry about your travel expenses because your company will cover it. They pay for your for your ha for your new house maybe, or pay for your um, your airplane ticket. Yeah, you could get a food card. Yeah, for lunches. But suppose you work for yourself. Suppose you have your own company. And you open a new office and you have to move people. Does anyone pay for it? The customers. True. But technically you're paying for it. Mm -hmm. You 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 it comes out of your pocket because it's your company. No, I don't think like that. Because I think uh, it's my company, but I work from my company, you know. So sure. the money, uh, it's the company. Budget, the company's money. You know, yeah. Right, right, right. And I receive, uh, I get paid like uh, my other employees, you know. But that is your company. So the company is your money. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but it's my company. My, but the way I see this, it's like uh, it's money company, and the company pays me. Okay, so so when your company gets big enough and you get paid by your company, you view that as separate things. Yeah, because so if, you, you I, get... if I uh, have this this thought, uh, it's my money. Uh, I. I will not uh, like to invest in something because it's uh, money out my pocket, you know. Uh -huh. It's going out from my my wallet, and if I if I think it's money, uh, uh, it's the business money, so. Is like like thing, like separate things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so like you like could have a, a company credit card. Uh, that know. wouldn't affect you personally. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's like that. Uh, it wouldn't affect your personal expenses because you keep that separate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when, I understand what you're saying. When the the month the month ends, uh, I I see uh, how much money the the my business uh, makes, you know, mm -hmm. and I pay for the the. Oh my god. It's okay. <laughs> uh, Joao says monthly balance. That's a that's great vocabulary there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I I receive my money, you know. 
Wonderful. So you're managing all of the money when you have your own business. Now, say you yeah. work for a company. Say you work for a company, and they give you a company credit card. What are the advantages of that? Do you know what I mean by company credit card? I don't know. All, all, all the money is that your company make is in a credit card. The company uh, it's going to pay. For example, you, you can buy. pay yeah. a car uh, less. Uh, yes, yes. So sometimes let's. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, uh, one benefit the. Uh, Working company car is the company maybe uh, can be um, the benefit um, of that is uh, a car mark uh, mark uh, <laughs> yes 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 no that's great um, for example my sister working motor for company she the company. Uh, give the car more uh, percentage more for a car. <laughs> car or card? One benefit the oh, car, car and car. Mm -hmm. For example, if you want uh, work in a say, uh, Audi or Volkswagen or Ford, no say, Many companies. One benefit the work in this company is that here one product and um, price more down. Markdown, so a discount. Yes. A discount. This is one benefit. I work right. in telecommunication. I one benefit is um, have communication more uh, price down. So your phone bill is down. For example, no, the phone number, for example, or gotcha. have internet in a house free, or that is a benefit. Or, or the company give me a car for work, or the company give me a car for business uh, with my customer. Um, this is a benefit. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, so so that's another advantage you have. If you work for a company, you can get a discount. So say you work at the mall at a clothing store, and you see a pair of jeans that you like. Ooh. You have discounts for the, for the jeans, for the clothes. Yeah, 40% off. Ooh, sweet. <laughs> yeah. Special discounts for the people who work for, for the mall. Right, right. And it's the same way if you own your own company. For your, um, so say you own a company that makes cars. Say you own a car company. Say you own Ford. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can get a free car. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. So if you if you own your own company, you can you don't have to buy whatever you produce. You could just have it for free. Yes. Uh, what is the company credit card? Company credit card. Okay, so a credit card. It's um, a piece of plastic, you know, that you swipe yeah. instead of paying cash, right? So you know. Yeah, <laughs> Do you, yeah that 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 Visa, <laughs> Visa, Mastercard, American Express. So if your company gives you a credit card, you go for lunch. Uh, you can you can use the uh, company credit card to charge just it just for lunch. Just for lunch or your yeah, or your yeah. gas. So say you oh, go on a yeah. business trip, you pay for your hotel and your gas and okay. your food on the company credit card. Yeah, we have uh, that too in Brazil. Right, right. and sometimes I, if you I own don't your, have it. <laughs> if you if you own your own business, you get a company credit card, and then you can get air miles. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So you you buy your so you own um, a food store, and you buy all your food with your credit card, and then you get air miles, so you get free airplane tickets. Yeah. So that's an advantage. Air miles. So um, 
But th does, does anybody understand what I mean by air miles? Yeah. yeah. Could you explain it? It's like uh, you, if you buy something in your credit card, uh, you are um, uh, accum acc accumulating. I don't know. Uh, Accumulate. Yeah. Uh, points and you can change for 